Hey everybody, this is Kagato and I am the Final Boss, and welcome back to Persona 5. This is going to be a bit more of a mellow episode. Um, fortunately, having a bit of a sore throat. A lot of it has to do with um, some screaming I had to do in regards to another game that I'm let's playing for this channel. <laughs> it, it, did, it did a bit of a number on my throat, so I, I really need to relax it for today. So uh, hopefully I won't have to do anything too deep in this episode. Maybe a couple of social links. But you never know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. An internationally known enemy. I hope we can figure out a good way to fight back. Sleep! That's right, we're going up against Medjet, basically the anonymous of this game world. Let's see what Tuesday has in store for us. What? Tell me. Everyone's been talking about Medjet. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do you? They're an international network of hacktivists. They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. The subway company's server thing? That was Medjet. Trying to find out who caused the train accident. So... they're good guys? Ugh, no S way. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> They're, they're, they're more like digital Robin Hoods. They're, they're horrible people. Horrible. They kick puppies. I uh, hear they drink the blood of unicorns and spit it back out in the faces of orphans. But they snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Wow, even more gossip going on. Medjid? Those guys that claim that they're modern-day Robin Hoods? They dare call themselves heroes after attacking those companies? <laughs> they're fighting Medjid next? The Phantom Thieves are amazing. I don't want to hear about justice from some shitty hackers. I don't care what happens as long as it's interesting. Well, even doing that voice kind of did a bit on my throat. Okay. I am now understanding my limits for today. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. I wish I could get in the top 10. People look at smart students differently. I wonder what score I got. Hey, I'm in the top 10. I'm in the smart and I didn't cheat, not one bit nonsense. You can't prove otherwise, huh? Whoa, everyone's gonna have their eyes on you now. Well, I certainly hope so. After all, I am breathtakingly handsome. At least my mom tells me so. So near. My, <laughs> my charm level is still only suave. All right. That's right, I only just recently upgraded it, so I'm probably gonna be just suave for a while. Uh... We were busy. It's not like I can focus on studying. Ryuji, how badly did you do? Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? Yes, yes it is. It's your fault. <laughs> you don't gotta throw the truth like right in that in my face like that. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, if you can't handle the truth, you can't handle the truth. Wait. Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep, I'm going to be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjit is? <sighs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjit and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. Let me see. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted Jirai about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjid. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves with a world debut, no? Come on. Dude. Don't worry, I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the form mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. 
Oh, come on, Mishima. You're such a big Phantom Thieves fanboy. Don't you want to hang out with us awesome people even longer? No? Man, even Mishima <sighs> thinks we're lame. Oh. So, that was fruitless. Wonder if anyone else got any info. Mishima was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime, after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. There are really just no leads. Hmm, our impotence is truly elusive. <sighs> no luck. Majid, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I suppose we're gonna have to get a new party member that will be able to deal yep, with them. Yep. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week. Oh boy! But I have an unfortunate announcement. We will be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Oh no. Settle down! We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdown, student being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Nonek has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. This is inconvenient for us too, you know. Having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. How are we gonna find Magic? I'm not sure, no matter how hard I look online, all I find are unreliable uh, rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrests somehow. Kanashiro has a lot of trouble, or was a lot of trouble rather, but this is turning out to be a much greater deal. Did we bite off more than we can chew? Eh, I'm not sure. Right, there's no, there's no knowing who we're actually up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. That's probably why my exams are going to shit too. Right, Ryuji, blame this whole thing. Just, just, just blame the bad scores of your exams on this whole thing. G good job. You know those things are two separate things, right? Good old Ryuji has an excuse for everything. <laughs> oh, hi there. Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjid, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> if you can't identify who it is, there's nothing we can do. Let's wait until they make their move. All right, so it is now time to wait and do some social links. Let's see, who is available today? I'm hitting every possible wrong button except for what I want to do, so square button, thank you. Okay, got Ryuji and on. Hmm, went to go see Shiho. Do I have... A persona for on lovers yes I do okay let's spend time with on so I went to go see Shiho in the hospital we talked about all sorts of stuff while I was there it's kind of amazing that Shiho is still in the hospital after all this time we talked about all sorts of stuff oh I'm just repeating myself but that just made me think about even more that I want to, uh, made me think of even more I wanted to talk about. Okay. Do you think you could listen to what I have to say? Uh, sure, I guess? Thanks. Well, I'll be waiting at the usual restaurant. Uh, which usual restaurant? There's like three that I go to. It's a Big Bang Burger? Oh, um. the diner. That's our usual restaurant? I think we've actually been to the buffet more than we've been here together. But hey, they got steak. That's good enough for me. So, I talked to Shiho about what happened to Mika back at the photo shoot. And you know what she said? Or did, rather? 
laughed. She couldn't stop talking about how tough she thought Mika sounded. Really? I'm pretty sure she probably thought there was more to that. Honestly, though, it was kind of refreshing. I'm not even mad anymore. I guess you really just need someone to laugh at you if you want to feel better. Yeah, it seems that way. Uh -huh. I mean, they always say laughter is the best medicine, right? I've seen the truth of that saying firsthand. But anyway, even though I'm trying to strengthen my heart, Shiho's the real strong one here. Nah. Hey. I went to one of her rehab sessions the other day. She said she wanted me to be there. So I agreed without thinking much of it, but it ended up being pretty overwhelming. Was she in pain? Yeah. It was a lot tougher than I'd ever imagined. It was horrible. She was dripping with sweat, teeth clenched. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Apparently, she can't even move her feet. She said it feels like her legs are filled with sand. But she dragged them along, legs swollen with blood. I wanted her just to make her stop. <laughs> By the time it was all over, she was in tears. It was really tough on her. She said that she wanted to give up. And that's why she asked me to come. To keep her motivated. The whole time she was complaining about things in ways she normally never would. But even with that, she finished her session. I don't know why I'm crying. I didn't have to go through that. Is it because I'm weak? It's because you're kind. You're wrong. You know, even through all that pain, I thought Shiho was so cool. Beautiful, even. Despite all her complaining, she still tried incredibly hard. Strength is more than just not getting phased. It's the power to fight through adversity. So I was thinking, and, um, what can I do to help Shiho? Hmm, come for her, listen to what she has to say, show her your own strength. Hmm. Honestly, I'd say comfort her. Thanks. You're right. I should stay by her side, talk to her. You know, Kakado, being with you really helps me see things clearly. Once again, I do nothing but sit here and let you talk to me, but hey, if that helps... What should I do? The true meaning of strength. Thanks. Well, thank you for that. Did I read that right? I, feel, I don't think I read that right. I sense a heightened motivation from On. For a second there, I, I, I'm not even sure if I read that right. If I didn't, oh well, I'm sorry. Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. All right. All right. Uh, my nose is all runny. What are you looking at me like that for? Pretty girls get runny noses too, you know. <laughs> well, see you around. No, I'm pretty sure that pretty girls don't have any other bodily fluids except maybe saliva. Summer break soon, all right? Must be nice being a student. So, I looked into Medjid. Did you find anything? As you know, Medjid is a god that appears in Egyptian Book of the Dead. In the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? Its name apparently means the Smiter. It seems nobody is actually sure what Medjid is- that Medjid is a real name. Wow, I am really messing up on reading this. I do apologize, guys. I know that I nor normally do get tongue twisted, even right now I am. But it's, uh, it's a little bit excessive this episode, so I do apologize. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. An unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. 
He truly is an elusive being. It sounds like a Godzilla villain. Dude. Everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait. Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art... Uh, what, what are you going on about? <laughs> ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjid is facing straight ahead at all depictions of him. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. I see. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it even more? That's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Ryuji, what was the point of Ryuji saying wait? It, it mounted to nothing. He was just flat out ignored. So, we still don't have any tangible clues. Great! Good job, team! We're awesome! <laughs> uh, but then again, they're the, the Phantom Thieves. They're not the investigation team. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Wait, do I have anything for... Oh, yeah. What personas do I have? Do I have a devil? I do not. So, sorry, oh, yeah, but I'm gonna have to pass. Um, let me see... Yeah, let's, uh... Wait, I forgot to check to see if I have a Persona for Star. Oh, yes, yes I do. Okay, okay. That was gonna be bad. I would've just wasted all that money. But hey! This ought to be fun. May hey, 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 dude, 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 dude. You, 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 you. Back the fuck off, she's mine. Hi, he for me. Back the fuck off. Hi, he for me, how you doing? Oh? Hifumi's talking to someone. She seems kind of troubled. I can feel... Wait. Oh, are we going to have an encounter of some kind? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna talk to Hifumi? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking... I'm talking to the role player. Oh, wow. Here we go. Thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never gonna wash it. Eh, that's gross. Huh? Huh? Um, please wash it. No, I want the oils of your skin to grow and fester upon my hand. I can't believe you're really here. In a church! I read on the internet that you pray to God for victory. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been. I'll be cheering for you uh, to qualify. You'd be the first woman to surpass the third Dan League. But the third Dan, not the second Dan. We we have too many Dans around here, so we need we need to stop at three. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. Good evening. My god, that guy was annoying. Anyway, hello, good evening. I brought my whips. Men like that approach me all the time. At first, I thought you were one of them. Oh, damn. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um... It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me. Considering that the priest is doing a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend, and he's very kind. He once told me that he wanted to become a professional player, and he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. I would, honestly, I would laugh not at you, but with you, because I'd probably just do it as well. I mean, come on, wouldn't it, wouldn't checkers or chess or any board game be more fun if you just completely role played it? Like, you're just playing checkers, it's like, um, Oh, fuck it, I, 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 I launch my thunder beam at you! I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But it'd be fun anyway. Oh. So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. Hmm, describes you perfectly! Nonsense. Oh, are you blushing? Please stop. So you do like flattery, huh? Ever since I won the female Shogi League, it's I've been getting a lot of attention. 
I just figured I could contribute to the shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. So, I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and the photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. Uh huh. Having a difficult time, I take it. A bit. But it's fine, because it's for my mother. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be teaching you how to play rather than be talking about my mother. Today, I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reverse pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more efficient way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking with you. Actually... Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. I feel Hifumi's trust in me growing. Yay! Rank up! And Uchikomi, chance for a follow-up by a backup member of Joker Downs an Enemy. Okay. Alright. Wait, I thought I already had that. Must be a higher chance. Now then, I will instruct you while we play. I look forward to it. Are you ready? Prepare to get that ass whipped, boy. Oh no. Oh yay, my knowledge went up. Woohoo. Alright. Until next time. Well then, I look forward to our next match. I suggest some aloe vera for those wounds. I got burned so badly. I am being summoned to the velvet room. Hello. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. Oh, really? Care to explain? To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. Actually, I'm pretty foolish at being bold. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. It's big news. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. Oh, really? I can just imagine you with that big chair of yours eating a big bowl of popcorn. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Really? Care to explain? Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Alright, I guess I'll do that then. Wait, we're done? Not even a rank up? So why? You called me here just to say, do a good job. So you didn't even give me a cookie or tea or anything. You're mean, Igor. Oh god, the overwhelming scent of Bisquick. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. Oh, no wonder it's so overwhelming. You're secreting it all over the place. I didn't think Medjid would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things ha keep happening this year. The influence of butt punchers no no bounds! I underestimated it, honestly. <laughs> You're damn right. The influence of the butt punchers is amazingly huge. Hey. Just like the butts that they punch. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Are they not entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? <laughs> eh, entertained, I'm pretty sure. I see. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. You're looking awfully deflated there, Akechi. Whoops. I don't have time for conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Yes, yes, yes. Go take your adventures, briefcase, and get the fuck out. I don't get it. 
There hasn't been many news on the Phantom Thieves vs. Medjed showdown. Which of them will come out on top? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Medjed causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. But you gotta tell me, who do you think will win? Um, the Phantom Thieves, of course, because we're awesome and fuck Medjed. Yeah, they're stupid. And they Your smell stupid, too. Oh, my, sorry, that's not my phone, that's my vibrator, but I'll check my phone anyway. Wait, what? I've gotten a lot of messages from an unknown account. Well then. Nice to meet you. I am the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Well, maybe it has something to do with Ryuji running across every street in Tokyo shouting, Hey! Uh, yeah, phantom thieves! We're the phantom thieves! Aren't we awesome? Yeah, we're awesome! Praise me! I'm awesome! Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Um... I don't think that any one of us would either do something this cruel or be that stupid. There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjed, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Who is this? You got the wrong guy. Is this a- is this a prank? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Can't reply back. Ah, oh, goddamn AT and T fucking with me again. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. This is why that I need to change over to somebody else. We still have better coverage. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. Nope, it's totally Ryuji. How careless of us. No, it's totally Ryuji. But how would he have known all these details with just that? <clears throat> totally Ryuji. Do you think that there is another cause? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Good job, Yusuke. You get a biscuit. Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? Never mind. Ryuji gets the biscuit for being oh so smart. I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? Wait a minute. I just gave something food related intended for Yusuke to somebody else. I'm a horrible person. An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. How do you not get it? It's plain as day. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, 
Wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. No kidding. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Uh, yay, yeah. Everybody just, you know, waltz into my place. Sure, why not? Having a sleepover? Question mark? Oh. <laughs> What's with the big group? Oh! I thought you were grimacing at us. Okay. You, you doing okay there, dude? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. Oh, so you're the younger sister of that bitch that keeps on coming in and ordering coffee and screaming at me. Welcome! She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. I wonder how well I could exploit this. I mean, welcome! A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, oh, you're talking about the letter. I thought you saying that everyone calls you boss was addressed to me. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. All right, damn. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Oh my god. Everyone look. Yusuke gets to eat something. Oh, hallelujah! Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. I I'm sorry? Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Pardon? Oh, come on. It's in English. <laughs> Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Yep, that does sound like what an arrogant internet troll would say. Keep listening. Especially the wake up part. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? It means they're a bunch of assholes and we gotta kick their asses. They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. That too. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. In other words, if anyone supports us, they plan to basically rob them of their livelihood. Oh yeah, they, 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 are, they are totally good guys. Why the hell are we being singled out? Because they feel threatened. Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! 
talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? That's a good question. We don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. It's a red card. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? I just realized that Yusuke's pencil has a fucking gigantic point. Holy shit. That, that's a weapon. All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Oh yeah, calling card, that's right. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjet is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone's really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kaneshiro case. Those on the other side say Medjid are hackers of justice. But there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. No kidding, they're just threatening to ruin people's lives if they so far as just support the Phantom Thieves. Someday I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. He can look forward to whatever he wants, but we have no means of striking back against Medjid. We're gonna be deep in deep trouble if we don't do something. Well, we don't really have anything to go on. We'll do, well, you know, we'll, we'll do our best. First that Alibaba character, and now a blank calling card. What the hell's going on? I do know one thing that's going on. I've got to stop right now. Again, this was a far more mellow episode, and I do apologize, but there was a lot of storyline going on at the very least, so I was able to let that kind of carry everything, so kind of gave my throat a bit of a rest. So, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all very much for, for supporting me up to this point. So, this is Kagato. I am the final boss. I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.